What's up everyone, how you doing? Uh, I wanna talk about Blockbuster Video. There's speculations that it might be coming back. They reactivated their website, blockbuster.com. If you go to it right now, you'll see for yourself, it says, be kind as we rewind or something along those lines. Uh, and it's kind of curious. I'm curious what's gonna happen with Blockbuster. What do you guys think is gonna to happen to Blockbuster? For those who are aware, I'm sure everyone's heard of Blockbuster at this point, right? It's a huge iconic brand that had almost 6,000 locations at its peak in North America. They were everywhere. Uh, second biggest chain was Hollywood Video. Uh, but unfortunately, Blockbuster made some really bad leadership decisions, right? They, they had a chance to purchase Netflix, for example. Netflix went to them when it was first starting. This is back when Netflix wasn't even doing streaming. They were doing the, the mailing DVDs, right? And they wanted Blockbuster to purchase them and back them, and Blockbuster basically laughed at them and said, no way. So they're very ignorant in that regard, right? They were kind of like, they were king of the mountain and they didn't really see the ground level, so to speak. And they made some really bad decisions. In 1997, for example, Warner Brothers wanted to do an exclusive with Blockbuster Video. And they they basically wanted their movies to come out at Blockbuster only and they wanted to do like a revenue share. And again, Blockbuster turned it down and they really should have taken that offer, right? Um, so at the end of the day, uh, it was a dumb decision, but now it's owned by Dish Network. They purchased a Blockbuster name, right? And so Dish Network turned it into like a digital streaming, ironically, into more digital streaming. I'm not even sure if they're doing it anymore. There is that one location left in, in Bend, Oregon, but there's speculations that they might come back. And I think it would be cool if they came back, honestly. I wear the shirt, and the days I do wear the shirt, I'm not lying, I get at least one or two comments a day of people coming next, you know, hey, I like the shirt, that's awesome. You know, so I think there is a brand People really love the brand. It's obviously got very strong even today, even though it hasn't been around for for a while. It, people still know the brand, and I think people who have good memories of, of, of renting movies, right? It's different now because you can go on Netflix and HBO Max and other platforms and pick a movie and stream it, right? Where back in the day, you had to go there, you had to pick candy, the smell, the, you know, what movie should we get, the making sure you don't turn the movie in late. Back in the VHS days, make sure you rewind it and getting frustrated when someone didn't rewind it. Uh, you know, just getting candy and all that good stuff, right? So I'm kind of curious if, if Blockbuster, so to speak, were to come back and have like physical locations again, would you support that? I, I, I would, but that's my demographic. I don't think necessarily millennials or younger kids would uh, even support, They're like what's the point of Blockbuster, right? Because it's uh, the convenience of it all, it's their own home. Uh, what are they going to do? I mean, they had that blockbuster TV show on Netflix this past year that flopped. Uh, there's uh, that, which is unfortunate. It wasn't really, it was a comedy. It wasn't even that funny, <laughs> you know, and it was about the last, I think it was called the last blockbuster. There's a documentary called the last blockbuster. It's also on Netflix. Ironically, I recommend you guys check that out. Really fascinating details about the history of blockbuster and how it got founded. And it, they were really ahead of the time as far as Back when VHS was rentals, they were really expensive to, to purchase for rental companies, right? VHS tapes were. So they really turned that around. Uh, they did So they did some early stages. They did some really good decisions. I remember watching like Super Bowl commercials. Blockbuster was huge. Um, it just, I miss a brand. We've seen it happen with Toys R Us, right? Where the iconic brand goes away. Now it's kind of come back in the form of Macy's and the stores. So Toys R Us is kind of making a small comeback. Could we see the same thing? with Blockbuster, is there a market for Blockbuster to come back? Is it gonna be in forms of maybe another streaming service like Netflix? Uh, are they gonna have like pop-up Blockbusters, smaller Blockbusters are gonna pop up? Uh, are they gonna be part of another brand like Toys R Us did with Macy's, right? Are they gonna team up with someone like Pizza Hut or something like that? You know, that'd be really cool. I think it'd be smart to do something like team up with a pizza place uh, would make sense, right? Have like pizza and delivery or some on those lines. So I'm kind of curious, this is kind of what my thoughts are. It's hard to say what's gonna happen. It certainly won't ever be as big as it once was, but I'd love to see it come back. I'd like to see the name out there still. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know, I will say this, if it were to come back, I would buy stock in it, I probably would, as long as it's not too much money, you know? Uh, but uh, let me know what you guys think. Thank you for subscribing, guys. Leave a comment below, and have a great day. Bye.